who wants to manage an inventory and and organize it and delete the things from eight years ago or box up the things that you can't bear to delete who wants to just wonderfully orgasmically organize the inventory we all have inventory issues we all do now i know the ones that have fairly a low inventory that doesn't have much in it well done that means that you haven't went shopping that means that you haven't went crazy over the sales that means that maybe you don't build and that means that you log in do what you do and don't hold on to the virtual memories by stuffing it in your inventory thinking you're going to get around to sorting it out one day and then you find yourself 13 years later and it's like wow how did my inventory blow up talking about inventories this is the inventory series uh, video one I will be talking about how to delete things quicker greetings and welcome to another video so it's been a while maybe about a year since I did a video on inventory yeah, we all have them. We all have inventories. <clears throat> and they're great. If you don't fill them with things that you don't wear or things that you don't use, things that you're too sentimental to delete. So you box them up and put them in a folder only to find years later that folder has grown and you have several storage boxes full of things that you couldn't bring yourself to delete and oh yeah you know virtual hoarding digital hoarding hoarding in a virtual world it's a thing most of us do it most of us do it when you're a builder you make something or you're testing something out and you don't name it. You just leave it as object. Then time goes by and you see all these things in your inventory, simply named object. It could be overwhelming, certainly overwhelming for me. So. We're going to talk about inventories today. That's right. And we are going to probably uh, not use this space. Let's go into the inventory. Now, don't judge me, man, but look. <laughs> okay, if you can't see the number, it is 191,352 things, objects elements in my inventory but my excuse is look at the overlay my red state yeah 2006 so that's my excuse anyway now what we're going to do is we're going to have two inventory windows open so you want to go up and let me make sure that is showing yeah and you want to open a new window that will open up a second inventory window sometimes you just have to wait don't worry there we go now if you cr if you now if you crash at this point you got a problem i'm not going to address that in this video 
All right, so you have two inventory windows up. Now, if you want to manage your inventory, you know, declutter, delitter, you know, like things that are like keeping up space. Perhaps you have a goal of deleting a hundred or so objects today or what have you. If you have a maintenance schedule or you want to create a maintenance schedule of your inventory, the first thing that I suggest doing is to get those note cards, man. Those please read me or do not read me or delete me things that come mostly in um, the things that you purchase. So some some of these read me note cards you want to keep. It may be important, you know, like it could be like a tutorial about the object or how to wear something or if something breaks, you know, there's information in that note card. So be sure to you know, kind of, kind of glance over, like, see this, this note card. I, I'd want to keep this note card because I might have this problem. Um, so that's always good. Your HUD note cards, yeah, I would suggest just keeping. Uh, not unless you have duplicates of the same HUD note card, then, well, you just pick the best one and delete the rest. All right, so if you have these photo prop note cards where it tells you, you know, read before you res or use or what have you. Now, this is, it depends on your knowledge of these things, whether if you want to keep the note card or not. So that's pretty much, I mean, uh, most of this will be, you know, up to you, like, well, will I need that later on down the road? Trust me. If you're sitting there asking yourself, am I going to need this later on down the road, then chances are you may not, depending on your, uh, your confidence, I suppose. <laughs> I don't. All right. So, and I'm just going to Just kind of pick a pick a section to where I haven't uh, already done this exercise, but uh, yeah. So um, okay, yeah. I don't want these. I'm just going to delete these, even though they're not my intended target of this particular search. Obviously, it does have the word. Uh, red in it but I want to show you a nifty trick so if you have things that you want to delete all in one go you absolutely can so you highlight one object I mean sorry you highlight one in this case note card and then you hold down the control key if you're on a mic I'm not really sure but I'm a PC girl so you hold down the control key and then you just go ahead and highlight the rest of these things that you want to delete all in one go. You let go of the control key, it's gonna stay highlighted. And then you want to right click and then you wanna choose delete. There you go. It's a lot easier and quicker than going through and uh, you know, like just deleting things one by one. So we'll keep on going here. And yeah, I mean, I do this exercise pretty regularly, getting rid of the note cards that I don't need. Um, so, all right. So that's, that's the first exercise. So we're going to repeat this exercise a second time, but this time we're going to put the word please in it, obviously. This is going to depend on your own personal inventory because who knows, maybe there's a person out there that has a note card that says, please don't break up with me. You know, that that is that is name. Please don't break up with me. Now, if you have a slew of those type of note cards, then you got a problem that maybe you should uh, learn how to fix if by watching my date videos in Second Life. Yeah, you'll, you'll learn a lot, a lot. 
Well, I hope anyway, that, that's the goal. So, all right, so let's see. So you see, I have some please highlighted here automatically that came up when I did the search for please. And I'm only looking for note cards. I want to go ahead and get rid of these. So you see that they're not all in a row. They are in different folders. See that? Okay, well, yeah. They're in different folders. So what you do is you highlight one and then you want to hit the control button again and then keep that control button pressed down and then highlight what you want to delete next. Now, you have to be very, very careful when you want to delete these things that are in the different folders. Be sure that when you right click, you right click on anything that you've highlighted. It could be this one or it could be that one or it could be this one. So you right click to get the pie menu or the vertical menu or whatever. And you want to hit delete. Now, if you by accident did this, and if you highlighted the folder itself and you went to delete, then you would delete that folder, which is the contents of that folder. So it would be the note card and whatever else was in that particular folder. So that is why when you hit the control button, when you go to highlight, you want to highlight exactly what you want to delete. So, um, yeah, we'll just do this again. So we're going to highlight that and that. And you know what? We'll just go ahead and do this as well. Now, they are in different folders and they're in different subfolders. Look, see, I've got something in the furniture folder and something in the unpacked gifts. From, oh, wow, well, yeah. Don't judge me, man that I want to delete. So, okay, highlight. You just click on it first and then you want to continue to highlight other things. You would hit that control button and then go ahead and left click to highlight and then left click to highlight. Those three, th those three items are marked for deletion. So you want to make sure that you right click on one of these highlighted items or whatever you've highlighted on. You want to right click on it and then you want to hit delete. Now, to make sure that you've done that properly, you can look in your recent items folder and look at your trash, right? However, if you did that, it should, it should, you should see what you've deleted. Now, if you want to make sure that you did delete just the note cards in this case, then you want to go back up and you want to select all types. You want to make that filter default. So you go into your trash folder and you look. It's like, oh yeah, I did do it right. See? See, it matches. There you go. And then you obviously empty your trash folder as you normally would. So that's a good way to get rid of the same things or things that you don't want all in one go. Um, it works for all items. It works for like uh, snapshot, sh snapshots, Let's say that three times fast, textures, sounds, scripts, objects, note cards, obviously, landmarks, gestures, anything that you can highlight, uh, it, it'll work. Um, anything you can delete it it'll work and what else so we'll go ahead and we'll just I'm just gonna leave that trash folder there and another thing to look for uh, to search for to delete is landmarks uh, now come on now look we all have them we all keep them I have landmarks from 2006 and you know that particular place, it's probably turned over, I don't know, several, several times, but I still have a landmark to that place. The originator of that landmark, the it's no longer there, but I still have that landmark. 
Now, what you could do is you could just type in a word, my, I don't know, parks, right? And, you know, you'll get a landmark of parks if the word parks is in there. Like I have Molly's Amusement and Trailer Parks or uh, Vogue Fan Norse Parks, Parks, Parks. Okay, so uh, let's see what else. So we're looking at the landmarks. Let's type in this word. Oh, I'm surprised. <laughs> oh, I was expecting a big old slew of them. Anyway, as you can see, uh, it will, uh, the algorithm will uh, pick out, you know, obviously the whole match word and then partial match, which would be, it's the word Essex, but you got the word sex in there, right? So, yeah, I'm just going to delete that and I might keep that one. I don't know. It depends. All right. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you just keep doing that and sometimes, oh, yeah. So, what well, this is this is really good. Okay, my LRC is no longer there, so I'm going to go ahead and delete these. Now, you know what I was saying about the control button earlier to highlight things. You can also use the shift button. Now, in this instance, because it's it's the same landmark that I want to delete. And I could do the control, you know, highlight one and then control, press down, and then just go ahead and continue to left click to highlight them. Or I could use the shift. So highlight one thing and hit the shift button and then uh, the left key, left button, and then you could do the same thing. Just remember, if you want to delete different things that are in different places that aren't like right beneath it or right above it go with this hunter resource center so that's highlighted and let's say that i want to get rid of this asmr library well now if i were to do shift look what happens yeah it will highlight all the things between the first highlight and the second highlight you don't want to well you might want to do that you might not want to do that it depends on what you want to keep or not in this case you could easily just do the same thing and just delete all of them that that is quicker than just having to go control down and then highlight 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 so uh, let's talk more about holding the shift key down so let's stick with the hunter resource center all right i want to get rid of that so you know you left mouse button you highlight it and i want to get rid of all of these let's go down to the little bat so instead of individually click it highlight each one of these i'll just go down here to the little bat and i hit the shift key press it down and then left mouse key, and then it selects all the things for you, and then you just go ahead and hit delete. So, yeah, okay. So, yeah, and you know, getting rid of your duplicated landmarks, that's always a good idea. So I'm gonna go down here briefly and do that. And we're going to use the two little tricks that I just, that I just uh, exampled. So we're going to get rid of this majestic society. I'm I'm holding down the control key and I'm going to keep it held down. And we're going to get rid of the outlet. That orange right yeah, we're going, I don't know what that is. And the pleasure chest. Um I mean I'm going to make this really, really substantial so you all can see how cool it is because some people may not know the uh, inventory uh, shortcut tricks tips mouse button <laughs> maneuvers yeah so then we'll just scroll on down and see oh yeah 
you with me so far? Of course you are, because my subscribers are smart. Yeah. I haven't been there in ages. Yeah, there's a reason. Right. Okay. I've removed my finger from the control button. So as you can see here, I've got quite a bit of things that are nowhere next to each other, really, highlighted. But I want to get rid of all those things all in one go. So to be safe, I am going to just click on this bigger highlighted area. I'm going to right click and I'm going to select delete. There you go. Look at the recent recent folder, <clears throat> recent tab rather, and there you go. So hopefully <clears throat> that has helped you uh, know how to delete things quicker and that are in odd places and all this stuff without necessarily having to open up a second inventory window. You see, we did all that in one inventory window we, we didn't use that one over here just use that one over here and that will be it from me for today i do not want to overwhelm you with all of the uh useful knowledge that is out there in second life that will help you live a better second life so that's it for me i will see you in the next video bye